Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What a great day this is. Another God-given day. And we're saying thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. I am Portia Wheatley. I am the president and founder of Trophy of Life with a vision to render hope and encouragement. And today, first of all, before I do anything, let's welcome my, <clears throat> excuse me, my co-host, Takira Swan. Hello. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have her um, to accompany me and also the information that she shares and the feedback that she gives is just a blessing. So I'm really grateful to have her here. Mm, what we want to do, I'm so excited. What I want to do is say thank you, Lord. He got us through the first week of Project 365. I am so grateful to God. Uh, I talked about a few weeks ago, I talked about stepping into something that's larger than you. And indeed, this project here is larger than I. And uh, but I must say, God has been with us and uh, the support has been there um, uh, financially, emotionally, spiritually. I'm just grateful to God that um, he is supporting this this mission. He gave it to me. So I know uh, he's going to actually see it all the way through. Takira, what is that saying that your grandmom says about the vision? Yes, if it's God's will, if God's bill, he'll take care of it. <laughs> He's going to take care of it. So I'm going to turn this portion over to you so that you can give us a brief um, recap on the things that God has already set into motion, our presenters, and the messages of hope, encouragement, and inspiration that's already gone forth. All right. Well, I'm just going to run down the days that we've done, and I encourage all of you to just check out the full videos um, if anything is particularly interesting to you. Um, the first day we had Archbishop Ralph Dennis, who gave us some, uh, he gave us four strategic points that he shared, and his session was all about um, spending time with God and taking that time out to get to know him better. Uh, the first thing he said was, to ask God how he feels about you and to really take time to invest in God just like he's invested in you. Um, the second point was to write down how you feel in God's presence and start keeping a journal about your spiritual journey and uh, what the Lord's saying to you. The third thing was to ask the Holy Spirit for the desire, the self-control and the faithfulness to spend time with God in his presence. Uh, we get so busy during the year or daily life actually yeah and and we just don't take the time out to just talk to God it doesn't take a lot of time you don't have to be all deep and mystical you can just take a couple minutes or a couple seconds to just talk to God say you know how you're grateful for what he's done for you how your day was just really develop a relationship with him and the fourth tip was just to go and do and be like this should be the year of doing for us let's put some action behind our uh, faith that we have in him the second day, we talked about our physical health, which was with Darian Dennis, and he gave us a lot of good tips on, on working out and just trying to change your diet to be healthier, and I believe I told you on that day, it's okay if you're not perfect, because I just had a Reese cup before we started. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's okay. Even if you didn't start yet, it's all right. <laughs> Everyone's human. Uh, he talked about increasing your water intake and how um, all water isn't the same. Um, he encouraged you to drink alkaline water uh, to balance the pH in your body, uh, have less processed foods and more nutrient dense foods, and to take at least just 20 minutes a day to do some type of physical exercise, whether it's walking or biking or an actual workout. And if you need help with actual workouts, he is a personal trainer. His information is under that video as well. And he's willing to help all of you um, just to get started, no matter what level you're on. Uh, the third day, we uh, it was us. We were talking about <laughs> you and I uh, talking about the project and details that it incurred. And then also you went out into the community and you um, interviewed some, some people who are homeless and just their stories and what they go through in their daily struggles. And that's what we really want to do is to encourage all of you to do the work um, that no one sees because that's the right. real work that counts. And just to help your, your neighbor or a stranger, because we're all here together to, to, to live life and, 
and help each other. That's what we're here for. Um, so I encourage, I really encourage you to check that video out. It's only about five minutes long, just to see how someone is in not the best predicament, but their their uh, their spirits were so high, yes, and they you were. wouldn't even imagine like oh they're homeless no they're homeless but they're helping other homeless people yeah. so we really have no excuse um then we talked to uh mr randall who's only 22 years old but has been through so much <laughs> and overcome so much um and he's in law school and he's just doing a really great job he's on a, a lot like he has more scholarships than i've known any <laughs> one person to have at 22 <laughs> at 22 and God has just really blessed him. And he's talked about um, struggles that he had with relationship with his father, um, the struggles of being a black man today and in law school. Um, so I just really, I just really encourage you to check that out. Uh, we also had a Ms. Marie Muzon on talking about our mental health, which is so, so important. And she shared the challenges of, of really neglecting yourself and to really just take time to uh, cater to yourself. You can't, you can't help serve anyone else when your cup is not full itself, you know? And that was really, really, um, it really hit home for me because as a caretaker, I know if I don't take some time out for Takira, no one's gonna be happy. So we really just, <laughs> we really just encourage you to do that. And to check on and check on your yourself and your neighbor and it's okay to get therapy and talk to someone that really, really will help you. Um, I believe I said that, you know, having a therapist or a counselor, it's just like talking to a friend who's just legally not allowed to tell your business. Right. So I just encourage you to do that as well. We also had, let me not pronounce anyone's name James incorrectly. Cena. Thank James you, Cena. James Cena who shared about her health challenges that yes. she had and brought her life to a complete halt. Um, but even throughout her illness, she was able to turn her life around and God showed her such a big picture that um, she's able to reach so many more people in her ministry more than she ever could have imagined. Uh, so please check that out. And we also had Mr. Tom Parsons on who shared about his life as an alcoholic and the pain and destruction it brought to his life and how God has turned his life around as well. And we also stated, if you know anyone who's going through that, or if you think, you know what, I may have a problem, just contact us. We'll help you find a professional that can help you and, and to, uh, get you started on your your journey to healing and wellness and then today we just want to come together and tell you to tell your negative thoughts to sit down Ish. and shut up <laughs> just sit yes. down and shut up i know you guys have had negative thoughts i know i do sometimes as well and we have to get out of our own way we really do. You really do. Worst enemy. That's it. Like the biggest enemy that you have is you. So tell your mind to calm it down. Say, sit down, okay? Because I got this. God got have this. several seats, right? You have several seats, yes. And God will help us uh, fulfill the purpose and destiny that we have on our life because we have victory and our victory is inevitable. Oh my God. Oh yeah. my God. You have anything to add to that? I tell you that that is so much. And when we have the opportunity or the privilege to go back and view the actual uh, video, there may be something else that may be your takeaway. Something may resonate with you that did not resonate with me. So uh, yeah. I encourage you to go back and view the uh, the several videos that we've already placed on Facebook, and just know that there are so many more to come. And I want to encourage you as well to share these messages of hope, encouragement, and inspiration. They may not um, be messages per se to you, but you know someone somewhere in these 365 days that someone is experiencing the topic of what we're sharing that particular day. So I encourage you, stop looking just at yourself and reach out to someone else. So I, that's, my, that's my desire that this platform will bring to you more than just hope, encouragement, and inspiration, but um, develop something in you that would allow you or cause you or inspire you to go out and reach out to someone else, whether it's verbally, spiritually, uh, just let them know that 
they're not alone. They're not alone. Not Even alone. with some a prime example, the alcoholism and alcoholic. I know those thoughts in their head is like nobody cares. Let me let me do this. Let me just drink my problems away. But when you're sober, those problems come right back. So um, reach out to someone, reach out even to us. We may not have all the answers, but we'll do the research to make sure you get what you need. Um, and just know that this place right here is a safe place. It's a safe place. My uh, One of my priorities when I was an associate pastor was confidentiality is number one. Yes. You break that, bye. And um, mm -hmm. because we're dealing with the emotions of people, we're dealing with their mindset, we're dealing with their their hearts. So we don't want to hurt anyone, anyone, anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, what an, another thing I wanted to share regarding Project 365 is that at the end of each month, the last day of each month, we will be giving away gifts. Uh, for an example, we have gift cards from grocery stores, gift cards from restaurants, gift cards for gas, uh, Mary Kay gift cards, jewelry, and we have money, 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 mom, money, 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 money. <laughs> Everybody needs money, money, money. So, so um, and then those that want to support us, by all means. A nonprofit organization is always in need because we're always giving out. Mm -hmm. And many of the people that you see that will be on this platform for the few minutes that they are on, they're supporting the they're supporting the vision. And we actually go in the community into the community. Who need, who's in need? Who needs this? Who needs food? Who needs gas? Who needs whatever? So uh, those that are watching, feel free, support us. You can support us through the website, which is www.trophyoflife.org. Uh, of course, we have PayPal, we have a cash app, Trophy of Life. All of that is in the name of Trophy of Life, okay? Um, if you want to contact me personally, go to the website, leave your name and address, or shoot me an email at Portia at uh, trophyoflife.org. Okay, um, with, the, with the gifts at the end of the month, the last day of each month, what you will have to do though, is shoot me an email to say, to say which segment resonated with you the most and what yes. you got out of it, okay? It's not like we're putting your name in a pot and just drawing it. Um, I give to you, you give to me, and when I say me, I'm talking about trophy of life, okay? So uh, your drawing will come out of, um, be picked rather from your email that you send sharing with me what you got out of a particular segment and how that resonated with you. So um, we'll do it that way. We'll do the drawing that way. And we will announce the drawing uh, in one of our segments, most likely the first of the month, we'll do the giveaway the last of the month and we'll announce the winner the first of the month, okay? Uh, I think I have everything I wanted to say. Uh, one of the things I did want to say was that, again, I encourage you to look within yourself out of your personal experience and see what you can give to someone else that is related to being hopeful, encouraging, and a message of inspiration. It's all about that. It's no longer about us. Mm -hmm. Just say yes to the um, opportunity. It is an opportunity to share, the privilege to share, because it's not about us. It's about God Almighty. So on that note, Takira, take us out, take us out. All right, we'll tune in tomorrow, guys, uh, to see our wonderful guest. Do you want to know who it is? We can't tell you. So <laughs> Believe me, you will enjoy it. I know on Sundays, um, many, many, many people, they are pretty much surfing the internet. They're in Chicago at 8 o'clock. They're in New York at 9 o'clock. They're in Florida at 10 o'clock. But check in with me around 1 o'clock. You will be tremendously blessed. 
but take my yeah. word for it. All right. I love you all. God bless you. And we will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.